Good afternoon. I'm David Wayne Brown, director of Crime Stoppers, and I want to thank you for coming today. Crime Stoppers today has posted $10,000 in extraordinary awards in each of 12 murder cases in our city. This is by far the highest number of extra awards we have ever announced at any given time, by far. These awards are possible because of anonymous donors who have provided $85,000 to us. The donation comes from people concerned about the problem of gun violence and the increasing rates of serious felony crimes in our community, including murders. They want to help Crime Stoppers in the work we do providing key information to the MPD and to other law enforcement agencies. You have a list of the uh, 12 murder victims in the cases involved. They represent a cross-section of the community. Men, women, blacks and whites, teenagers, to older Memphians. The cases are as old as 2019 and as new as just four months ago. We're calling these Spotlight Awards, and we hope to have more in the future. We intend to have more in the future. As you know, Crime Stoppers has been announcing extra awards in varying amounts for years. When we receive extra funds over and above the up to $4,000 we currently pay for information leading to a charge of murder, we announce and we promote the award. These always have come to us from outside sources, often from members of a victim's family. So the cases involved are chosen by others. There is an important difference in the Spotlight Awards. Each of these 12 cases has been chosen by Crime Stoppers from scores of homicide cases we have studied. We believe each one of these cases could be solved with just one, maybe two more calls to us that are tips that give us information we can pass on. That's how close these cases are to possibly being solved. In most of them, the victims' families never could afford to post $10,000. We often say that someone knows something in every felony case. You used to hear Buddy Chapman say that every time he was up in front of you. And it's true. It really is true. We hope that the extraordinary cash awards available in these cases will urge someone to contact us with information that we can pass on to detectives in the Homicide Bureau. Let me add something very frankly. Crime Stoppers works. It works because we have money to pay people who provide us information anonymously. We recently increased to $4,000 our base amount that Crime Stoppers pays for information leading to an arrest and a murder. That already has shown results. Two cases in the past two months. We hope that announcing up to $120,000 more is available for information in these 12 cases also will bring results and some justice to the families. I have some people to thank, quickly. Our uh, anonymous donors, of course. But I also want to express appreciation to Chief Davis and her staff, particularly to uh, Chief Deputy Chief Joe Oakley and to Colonel Caroline Beasley. They and numerous detectives have worked with us and made it possible for us to identify these 12 cases. You can tell how much collaboration we've received just by seeing who all is here today, standing behind me. And I really appreciate the MPD hosting this press conference. I want to invite uh, Chief Davis to come forward and say a few words, and after uh, words, I'll answer any questions about this that you might have. Chief. Thank you. Let me just ask, can you all hear? I know we had some. No, I guess there, I guess there we the go. Mic was pushed out and the other mic yeah. was added. So. Opportunity to. Thank you. You're welcome. So good afternoon. We are grateful to our value partners at Crime Stoppers. The work that they do to ensure funds are available to our citizens for rewards is invaluable. 
and even though uh, David and I, we didn't compare notes, he said something that I'm about to say, that it goes without saying, but Crime Stoppers works. It really does. And we are grateful for our partners at Crime Stoppers because we've been able to solve these 12 cases and others. Over the years, the leads and information provided to the Memphis Police Department through Crime Stoppers tip line has led to the arrest of countless suspects. And more importantly, as we bring these individuals to justice, we bring closure to the victims of crime and to their families. So by Crime Stoppers board members agreeing to increase, increase the current uh, reward amount for various crimes, we will certainly foster greater support from our citizens to take a stand and be a part of achieving crime reduction in our city. So at this time, I'll allow uh, for any questions that you may have of myself or our Crime Stoppers president. So some of the cases we saw um, are from this year, and um, I just kind of maybe both your takes on seeing, unfortunately, we saw the numbers of homicides have increased so far this year compared to last year. Tips like this are crucial. Just your take on the increasing homicide murder rate and just why these tips are crucial. The increase in the murder rate is, is horrendous, and, uh, and I'm worried that it's going to continue um, for a lot of different reasons. I think that... Um, this money that we've got available is going to bring in more tips. Uh, $10,000 speaks to a lot of people. And I think there are some folks out there who have some information that they have just not passed on to us because uh, the incentive wasn't enough. Now we have a big incentive, and I think it's going to help in these cases for sure. Um, I think we're going to see Crime Stoppers paying more and more money out, which worries me just a little bit um, because I've got, to, I've got to raise the money that we pay. But I think we're going to see uh, more payments of $4,000 in cases coming in. That makes me feel a little bit better. I'll tell you one thing. Friday, I had a phone call. I get a lot of these from the mother of a uh, murder victim. He was, he was killed earlier this year. And she said, uh, how much do you offer for, for uh, information that leads to an arrest and a murder? And I said, up to $4,000 right now, and that's a new number. And she said, can I uh, give you another few hundred dollars to add to that? And I said, well, sure you can, but we'll take any amount of money and we'll announce it. So I, I began to ask her who we're talking about. And it came to my attention as I listened to her that her son was one of the 10, 12 cases that you have in front of you right now. And I was able to tell her that. And uh, she cried for several minutes. And, um, and I just want to tell you, Every one of these murders is a family member, and there are families out there that I talk to a lot who are devastated by what's going on. The community has got to get a handle on it. Did you need me to respond to? Yeah, and, and so I'll just add that uh, it means a lot to us uh, to get this level of support. Uh, it is unprecedented for us to see the number of homicides in our city. And every time I think in terms of the, the various elements that come into play as it relates to the homicides that we're seeing, some of them are domestic violence. Some of them uh, deal with individuals that, that have various types of um, uh, mental crisis. And some of them are gang related. Some of them are conflicts between individuals. But we're seeing far too many instances of gun violence being the means of resolving conflict in our city, whether it's uh, a, an argument or whether it's in a domestic violence case. What we do need is our community members to help us. Even though we have great homicide investigators and detectives that work on these cases and they are relentless about getting leads and information, I can't tell you how important it is for the one tip that one small bit of information to help put that puzzle piece together to solve a homicide. Sometimes it's that one, that one call from a community member to say, I saw a piece of the tag number, or I believe it's an individual in my community. Those tips help us to move in the right direction. So um, it is alarming, and we are committed here at the Memphis Police Department to do what we can to reduce our homicide numbers. This is just a, a, a move in the right direction to help us with that. 
Any other questions? Uh, yeah, I was curious as to kind of how each of these cases were selected. Is it based on, you know, what evidence already exists? Is it based on how how much value a tip from a community member could add? Uh, just a curious about that. All of that and more. Um, as I mentioned earlier, uh, I was provided scores of cases to look at, and we have at Crime Stoppers our own uh, copies of lots of cases. What I was looking for is not only a cross-section of the community, I, I, I didn't want it to be all uh, one type of person. I was looking for a cross-section, but I also wanted to find cases that detectives thought if they just could get another phone call with, with another piece of information, they think they might be able to do something in this case. And that was the main criteria that I used. I wanted to mention that um, we are building a new website at Crime Stoppers which is going to be dedicated to all of the special cases that we have out there. You know, it's the nature of the beast, but um, uh, every day there's a new one that comes along and it's easy to forget about the ones that happened last year or two years ago, five years ago, or just six months ago. So we're going to have a way to uh, let people come and take a look and see if they've been solved. Following up on what you just said, wondering um, how you guys prepared to get the word out about $10,000 is a lot of money. If people who aren't watching the news or aren't reading the newspaper, how do you plan on getting the word out? We're going to get it out um, with, with newsletters that we have that go out monthly. We're going to, going to do it through Facebook. Uh, we have just started building Instagram and Snapchat uh, pages for Crime Stoppers. Uh, we're, we're going to do it that way. And, and then that new website that I mentioned, we're going to have that out there as well. And you are going to help. Does this pay off for yes. convictions only or just arrests? This is a pay, a payment that is made if someone gives a tip that leads a detective to uh, issue a warrant or make a charge. You know, we often say it's for an arrest, but that isn't quite true because there are some uh, cases out there that have been solved, but the person is at large. And so if that person, if we get a tip from someone telling us where that person is and he's arrested or she's arrested, then uh, that person gets a, a payment but not $4,000 because that is not solving a mystery. That is simply helping us uh, find somebody. So that's why I don't say that anymore. It's not paid on arrest. It's paid on a warrant or a charge. Thank you. Yes. Any other Any questions? Other questions? Just so I understand, are these people like came forward with this money. Are these everyday people like me walking down the street? Or are these big businesses? Or is it a mix of both? It's a mix of folks. Uh, several of them are people you would have heard of, and some of them uh, people I had never heard of who uh, also wanted to give. They did kind of come together and talk and, and then approached me, and we started talking about how could they help, and this is what we came up with. Are you uh, soliciting more yes, donations? Yes, I certainly am. Yes. Uh, and I have half promise from some folks that if this uh, is successful at all, there will be more coming. What would you say to someone who's watching our stories or reading our stories tonight, to, if they have information about any of these cases, um, to come forward, people who might be hesitant? I would say please do call. Uh, think in terms of uh, what if this was your family. I would also say to, uh, if you keep hearing from people, don't be a snitch. I say, snitch, 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 okay? Uh, absolutely. I would say to someone who's at home, Ms. Brown basically um, said, it's really easy to sit back and, and just watch the news, but when there's an opportunity to help bring closure to a case that doesn't cost you anything, if anything, it, it, it provides dollars in your pocket to help us, we're asking our community members to pick up telephone, we keep your information completely anonymous. There has been no individual to provide information to Crime Stoppers or to the police department that we didn't keep anonymous. And we absolutely can't solve crimes without the assistance of our community members. Many of the crimes that we have solved, we have great investigators, but the information that they get, get sometimes doesn't even come through Crime Stoppers. It's just individuals that want to be a part of the solution. So I say to our community members, 
take advantage of the opportunity to give us information, whether through Crime Stoppers or through our tip line uh, in the Memphis Police Department, because individuals who commit egregious crimes on our streets, it's just a matter of time before they hit another victim. We do not want to see more victims in our city. So thank you all very much, and thank you for pushing out this information, not just today, but maybe tomorrow and other days. Yes. One last question. What do you say to people who don't believe it's anonymous? <laughs> I don't know what I can do to convince um, our community members that it's anonymous. I don't know of a case where some retaliation came back to a citizen. Um, I just ask, you know, uh, from um, a leadership level here in the Memphis Police Department that we're not going to breach our trust. Um, that that if, if you step forward and assist us, we're going to make sure that nothing comes back to harm you and that that information will be used appropriately. So thank you for that question. And you can help on that score by just helping remember, remind people that it truly is anonymous. And I'll, I've said this before and I'll tell you again, we have software so that when a call comes in 528 cash, the identity of that call is totally stripped away because it's sent to Canada where it's stripped, and then it comes back to us instantly. And then we give that person a secret code and, and we take the information. That's really important because uh, over the years, sometimes defense attorneys have, sometimes over the years, defense attorneys have come to us and said, uh, or come to a judge and said, we want to know who called in that tip. So uh, we make certain that they cannot be identified. And we never know who they are. Thank you all for coming. Yeah. All right.